from Blue Peter to Green Jobs. Uh, the Institute of Engineering and Technology has teamed up with Lindsay Russell with a new content series looking at green jobs uh, and also encouraging uh, children into them, but also, I guess, sort of figuring out that path uh, to getting kids into green engineering jobs. And I'm delighted to be joined by Lindsay just now. Uh, and Lindsay, um, you've got a new content series. Uh, just tell us a bit about what that entails. Yeah, I'm really excited. So essentially I'm working with the IEP and they've done uh, a bit of research lately which shows that over two thirds of children actually really want to get into green jobs, which we think is fab, but 71% of kids have no idea what a green job is. Um, and I can't really blame them for that because when I started this series and they asked me to kind of produce this and get a you know get it all together, I actually had no idea what a green job was either. So that was kind of step one. It was figuring that out, and then step two was like, how do we get that across to children so if they do want to go into green jobs, they know what careers are out there. I essentially talked to three different people, all in green jobs, whether it be aerospace manufacturing engineer, uh, which is a job that I can barely even say, let alone understand. Uh, I also spoke to an oceanographer, again, was a job that I had no idea even existed. So yeah, we've kind of, all we wanted to show was that green jobs are out there and that this is what they are. What was great about chatting to Ying and Ludovic and some of these amazing, amazing people was that loads of them didn't even know what they wanted to do until they were about 23 and loads of them didn't land up in the jobs they're in until they were even older than that. So um, I know for kids, you know, there's a lot of pressure to kind of decide, you know, decide what you're good at, decide what GCSEs and what A-levels you're going to do. But actually, it's okay not to know as well. 